Emily and I am test driving the Fiat 500 today. I'm actually in the market for it and I'm really excited to see what it's all about. I've heard a lot but haven't seen anything so take it for a drive. Yes, I've yet to see one on the road so I was really excited to see it. But I've also test driven a couple of other cars. I've test driven the uh, Mazda 3 um, which yes was fun to drive but felt um, how do I put this politely? Cheap in the interior and just very like a hollow and it felt like driving a rental car. Um, so I was, I don't know, less than impressed. Uh, I drove the Honda Fit, which I liked, except for the fact that it sounded, it was very loud. Um, and it felt like, I just didn't like how loud the engine was and the, the outside. Um, you could hear a lot. Uh, there was a lot of engine noise. Um, I also was a little bit less than excited about the fact that it was so high up. It just felt kind of odd and the way the window was was a little bit odd for me. Possibly something I could get used to. I test drove the CRZ, which I thought I would like more than I did. I love driving it. Um, it has a great feel, a great feel on the road. It's very responsive, especially for a hybrid. Um, I did not like the fact that when I got in, I hit my knee twice. Um, again, being short, if I'm hitting my knee, not going to be good for anybody else to drive it. And I didn't like the fact that there was absolutely no option to put somebody in the back seat just on that rare occasion. Um, it did have good trunk space, so I liked that. Um, it also felt really low to the ground, and visibility was not great in the car. Same with the Insight. I really liked driving the Insight. I felt it was responsive. Um, I liked that there was a little bit more room, but it didn't feel roomy. Um, the windows are really low, so it was difficult seeing out of it. Uh, something, again, probably you can get used to. But it was a good drive. I liked it much better than the Prius in terms of how it drove. Um, what else did I test drive? The Prius. Yes, I disliked the Prius intensely, which was odd. I expected that I would like it, but it would be more than I wanted to spend on a car and in actuality it felt like driving a spaceship or a boat totally unpleasant to drive um, I actually I wondered whether the fact that it was so unresponsive and slow and like a lugubrious old man that it might actually be uh, dangerous because you kind of feel like you're in this other I don't know this vehicle that you're just moving really slowly and, I don't know, I felt like the tortoise on the, on the, on the road. I didn't like it. Um, again, everybody really loves it, apparently, but I was less than impressed. So this is actually really fun to drive, now that I'm getting used to the fact that it's really responsive. Um, yeah, it's kind of kicky. Um, it's got some good things going for it. I like that it's, uh, it's smooth relatively quiet ride. It's responsive. Um, I'm a little confused by this side mirror thing here. I think that would get some, take some getting used to. Um, and you can't see when you turn to the left, there's no, the way, the way the little window is, you can't see right there, but apparently that's what that little window is for, so that's good. Um, it feels airy because of the sunroof. Um, and it feels bigger than I thought it would inside. I dislike that the clutch, I can't quite reach it and you have to push it all the way in. So I can see that that would be a problem for the more petite drivers. And you're how tall? I am five one and a half. The half makes it. It does make it, thank you very much. It's almost five two. So it's not like I'm, you know, abnormally, or not abnormal is a bad word, but it's not like I'm really, really, really short. There's gonna be people my height and smaller driving it. Um, However, I did not hit my knees when I got in. Um, everything actually is in a decent place for the shorter driver except for the clutch. Um, I can reach the wheel just fine and I like that I'm a little bit back. I, I don't feel like I'm right in the steering wheel. Um, and I like that everything's a little bit more compact. I can reach everything very well, which is an issue, smaller arms. Well, there's certain issues as a woman without being like crass and totally talking down to women like, oh look, it's the lighted lipstick mirror and that's what you want in a car. But there's certain issues in terms of reaching or, you know, like for example, the cup holder is really low here. So I would have a hard time reaching my drink 
without moving, and that's a safety issue. So there are certain things that you want to be able to um, reach and use for the you know more petite of us or you know smaller sized gentlemen. Um, it makes a big difference. I'm actually kind of surprised that I've got headroom back here. Um, I'm not hitting my head now. Granted, Emily's five one and a half, so the seat down here I've got enough room. Once I actually got into the car, which was sort of like you know I had to kind of really move it to get in, but once I'm in, I'm actually sort of comfy. 